Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India lecture 4 module 3. In this section we will try to see the glass wall fixing because we are left over with the glass wall fixing and the other is the glass as an insulating material. So, we had looked into the various ways of glass fixing in the previous lecture prior to that we had seen the different types of glass. Prior to that we had gone into the how, what is glass, how it is obtained etcetera. So, now we had already exposed you to the glass wall in the previous lecture where we discussed that is glass block which is being fixed one after the other to form a wall. Now, what is there inside? Is it like brick masonry putting some mortar, sand and cement mix or is it something else? Let us know that. After that we will go to glass as an insulator and we have two more interesting things which are using of glass fibers, which are using of glass fibers which is also used in the insulator as a reinforcement for both gypsum as well as plastic. So, let us start with the glass block which we had already learnt in the previous in I think in lecture 3 where we said that if you have two pieces of glass which are brought together molded out and they are brought together and fixed together and it is joined. That gives a ox, ox, obscure view on the other side that means you can see the some image on the other side, but you cannot make out what is there or it is not giving you a transparency. It is a kind of translucent view which is obscured. The glass block, block fixing is visible and is little different from the masonry work why that is why I am bringing this fixing detail. It is used usually as a partition wall in between two spaces. So, this is mostly internal application not much of external application like that of the spider web joint and the glass facade. This can give a grand look at the same time you can have a view feel of what is happening inside and you are not actually getting associated with this what is happening inside. So, in the glass block system locking system it is the mortar which is pre mixed blend of Portland cement sand and chemicals. Here sand is very fine sand and or and it may be S Portland cement lime mortar. What is important here unlike brick here there is no absorber for the water component. Glass is not at all an absorber of water. Water absorption is 0. So, the water absorption being less, the mortar should be stiff and to improve the mechanical bond at the edges, it may be coated with polybutyryl, polyvinyl butyryl or PVB or even latex paints. Later we will have a chapter on paints. So, let us not bother on this, but we can improve the mechanical bondage between the glass wall and the adjacent wall by coating with PVB or latex paint. Steel reinforcements may be pushed in the mortar, embedded in the mortar to make it more strong. These glass blocks are actually if you go back if you go uh, recollect from the previous lecture they are having 
partial vacuums inside it. It is air inside it partially. So, these are very much equivalent to the double glazing unit. It is sealed when the two molds are joined together, two parts are joined together, it actually locks in the air and it acts as a DGO. Sometimes wood, sometimes windows are also made of glass blocks. If somehow you can infill argon, further thermal resistivity can be achieved. However, these have more of applications in countries which are very cold where they are facing minus 20 to 40 degree centigrade temperature where, whereas you have to maintain the inner 23 to 26 degree positive temperature. So, they are actually this kind of wood, wood window, windows are also effective. After knowing this glass wall fixing system, let us move to the glass wool where glass works as an insulator. Here you can see in the schematic diagram that some blue lines are actually coming out from a heated plate and on top is some molten glass. Here you can see a nozzle which is actually spraying air at a very high speed. Here you take a note of the temperature it is at 1450 degree centigrade coming out from the furnace. And this is a kind of mesh through which these thin strands are coming out which are of the order of 4 micrometer to 15 micrometer it is the diameter. And they are actually spun by a rotating spinning head and subsequently gradually they are being cooled in contact with air. So, you have a gathering spool, a connecting spool. So, it is a diagrammatic representation of the entire process and what you eventually get is very fine strands of glass. So, the glass which was cast as plate now has been transformed to fibers or wool like. They become glass wool when they are arranged in a particular fashion and you can produce in rolls or in slabs which are also called as bats. These are non-combustible and also recyclable like the other glass. Now, in this picture you can see the glass wool here this is how it looks. What is there entrapped? It is the air which is entrapped which is actually helping in the insulation process. So, this entrapped air is the player of insulation. It should be dry. If there is water inside it no longer serves as a thermal insulator. It also acts as an acoustical absorber. And you can see here the values thermal conduct conductivity value of glass wool is of the order of 0 0.023 to 0 0.04 watt per meter Kelvin. This can be used for acoustical absorbers also in forms of infills in walls or ceilings. However, if you see the person who is installing his hands are covered with glass. If you can see a picture image of a person who is seen totally, you will see he is wearing glass, ma glass um, protecting his eye, wearing a mask with, with his nose and mouth being covered. Because these thin strands of glass if inhaled creates a lot of problem or lot of health issues. So, this is having the negative that is the negative part of it. Otherwise, it is an excellent material for being used as a thermal or as well as an acoustical insulator or a sound insulator. Now, let us see apart from the application of 
it in bat or roll form in thermal or acoustical insulation. We can actually use this glass fibers as a reinforcing material in gypsum. But here if you notice the value highlighted in red, you can see here the diameter of the thread is more that is called roving a process where filaments are spun in larger diameters of threads. So, you can actually insert these kind of rovings in gypsum even then they will remain lightweight panel weights are you can see 44 kg per square meter and made from obviously gypsum as the major thing and the glass fiber rovings. You have some binder as cement or the thing that will attach it. You need some water and some waterproofing chemicals. So, with this GFRG what can be done? You can get continuous sheets of 12 feet 12 meters 3 meter in height and 125 millimeter in thickness. So, it is a kind of wall which will be having gaps hollows I will show you a section and this glass acts as a reinforcement there. So, it is hard it is tough it can take impacts these hollow spaces you can actually plug in with reinforcement if required or plain cement concrete if required to give it more rigidity. Otherwise, you can use it as a partition wall within a building system. The hollows also allow pipelines etcetera to move, but we are not more interested into that, but we are more interested into the glass strands which is actually giving it a compressive strength of 7 Newton per square, square millimeter when hollow U value it has given 2.85 watt per meter Kelvin and it has also given a fire resistance up to 100 1000 degree centigrade temperature. It is a green building technology it reduces lot of carbon dioxide and is compared as compared to higher uh, compared to conventional panels and it has been also approved by the United Nations agency. How does it look? Here is the panel, here is the cross section where you can see this is the hollow it is 250 millimeter where it is having a rib strengthening the item you can see the cross section here. So, at every 0.25 meter that is 250 millimeter there is a rib which is strengthening the wall and the glass rovings are being mixed with the GF mixed with the gypsum and it has created the two ends and also the ribs. This is an enlisted material by the central public works department it is in the specification and it has been promoted by our building materials and technology promotion council that is BMTPC manual has this kind of has the all the details of this particular material. We will discuss it little more when we go into prefabricated items. The other is glass fiber reinforced plastic that is GFRP which is made with thermo setting plastic which you which we will later on explain glass fiber as the reinforcement these are the glass fiber rovings resins are the binders here and you also can have additives coloring agents etc. How do they look like like this here you can see the fibers are aligned which fibers the glass fibers. So, the glass fibers are in one particular direction these are having one unidirectional 
strength reinforced you can have woven fiber where the strength is in both the direction you can bend it this way you can bend it this way because it is ultimately going into plastic now you see in this unidirectional the aligned fiber you see this is having the waviness or the corrugation the corrugation is in the direction of the glass fibers it is not in the opposite direction but with the woven fiber you can have in the corrugation in any direction or else you can use as a plastic sheet reinforced plastic sheet glass fiber reinforced or else you can have the random fiber where you can see the glass rovings being seen they are randomly spreaded in different directions so these are again lightweight translucent heat resistant strong building material used as a roofing used as a sheet used for temporary structures used for cycle shed roofs so we do not stop exploring glass you can you have seen many application of glass other than the way we see glass in our day to day life only in windows or maybe in the washroom louvers or maybe in schools colleges institutions yes that is the major part where we are using but whenever we are looking into glass when whenever the researches are being explored we can find the use of glass is happening in various domains so we can see that glass has a versatility and we are getting newer applications glass is nowadays used as insulation material structural component external glazing material cladding material other than the conventional windows and the delicate looking fenestrations of the on the facades it is undergoing transformation and we are finding its use in solar powered glass in switchable glass that is the e glass where you can keep on changing the translucency value and you can change the entry of solar energy inside the building so these are all applied in intelligent building systems so with these i conclude the part of glass that is up to lecture 4 of this module and in the last lecture we will go into the ceramic tiles and the vitrified tiles which have a glass coating which is glass like and we will close the module thank you